Hi everyone, my name is Christian Black and I am a gallery teacher at the Detroit Institute of Arts. Today, we'll be looking at a piece that is a snippet of a classic tale. Have any of you heard the phrase, making a deal with the devil? Well, this isn't a new thing. Matter of fact, this is something that dates back hundreds and hundreds of years. This painting is telling just that kind of story. It is called Marguerite Leaving Church. Marguerite Leaving Church is a painting made in 1838 by Ari Schaeffer. He was a Dutch French painter who created works during the Romantic period while the Enlightenment period focused on science and reason, Romanticism was emotion-based, focusing on the supernatural and literature connected to myth, legends, and nature. Schaeffer focused his work on painting scenes from different literary works from authors like Dante and Goethe, as well as religious subject matter. This painting is an example of that very thing. This painting is based on a story written by Goethe called Faust. The first part was done in 1808, while the second was finished in 1831. While this story is complex, I am going to give you the short version. Faust is a German literary work written by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. It is a story broken up into two parts. This is considered the greatest work he had ever done and the greatest work of German literature. Part one of Faust is the focus of Schaeffer's painting. Now let us get into the story. Faust is about a man, Dr. Faust, who was looking for more in life. He was an intellectual man who was not satisfied with the knowledge he had obtained by natural means. He even went to magic to get the answers he seeks. However, this led him to nothing. At the end of his rope, he is met by a poodle. This poodle was a disguise for the demon Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles makes an offer to Faust that would change his life forever. He tells Faust that he will do whatever Faust wanted him to do on Earth. But if he works for Faust on Earth, then Faust must work for him in Hell. Faust agrees, but adds a catch to the deal. Faust tells Mephistopheles that he must make him want a moment to last forever. Mephistopheles agrees to this. They go on their journey, and this leads us to the moment that Shafir paints. Faust doesn't fall for anything Mephistopheles brings in front of him. However, when Faust sees Marguerite, Mephistopheles realizes he has the perfect bait for his trap. Shafir captures the moment where Faust sees Marguerite for the first time. We can see that Schaeffer borrows a couple of aesthetics from Renaissance painters. We see the only source of light in this painting is coming from Marguerite. It is as if there's a spotlight on her or the glow is from within. It is this light that is illuminating the figures in the background, Faust, and even Mephistopheles. Also notice the color she is wearing. The white symbolizes her purity. Another symbol of her purity is her rosary. With Marguerite, Faust, and Mephistopheles, they create this slender triangle formation. This is something you would see with Renaissance paintings, as well as some of his contemporaries of the time period. This also makes sense as they are the three main characters of the story. Shafir depicts Mephistopheles tempting Faust with Marguerite. There's a stark contrast in their facial expressions, leaning into their character personas. Faust having a more serious look and Mephistopheles having a more sinister look. Speaking of Mephistopheles, let's dive a little deeper into what Shafir is showing us. Mephistopheles is shown with a sword on his waist. 
but Shafir depicts Mephistopheles having this sword on the left side. This left side is significant because in the story, Mephistopheles is known to be the sinister character. And what is one of the meanings of the word sinister? It is to be on the left or left-sided. Not only is his sword on the left side, but Mephistopheles is holding the handle of the broadsword with his left hand. It is with these symbols that Shafir is letting the audience of the time know who the villain is. This tale takes a dark turn toward the end, but Shafir captures the moment where this story takes a turn for the worse, including the death of Marguerite's mother, the death of her brother by the hands of Faust and Mephistopheles, and the death of Faust and Marguerite's baby. Thank you all for watching this video, and if you would like to see more paintings about great stories like this one, come on down to the DIA and immerse yourselves in the stories within our walls. See you next time.